nemesis of the old geezer network. I have been told by several people, one including my attorney, hmm. and another one which will be named nameless, that I'm going to have a lawsuit if I keep progressing on this old geezer network. I thought it was a good idea. I did this in, you know, when you're at nine o'clock at night and you're all by yourself, you know, you're, that you're an old geezer. So I decided, you know, this would be interesting just to do an old geezer network. You've got the old suicide network, you got the all murders, you got the all violence, and God only knows what else you got out there. I thought the old geezer network would work. I didn't ask her because she didn't come into the picture. But after seeing an hour and something of all of the old geezer things, I asked her to cut them up in pieces. Well, the next day, <laughs> I get a call from her attorney, right? Well, you can't do that, it's not good. So I said, well, that's no problem. Because I'm not really sure what an old geezer is. I thought an old geezer was a guy who wasn't married or, who, or was divorced or was a bachelor or a... Yet, when he wanted to talk, his wife or his girlfriend or somebody wouldn't come in and say, well, you can't say that. So I figured, you know, what the heck? Why not? So I hate to disappoint my uh, large audience of one out there, but the old Geezer Network is now going to be laid to rest along with all the rest of us old geezers. And the reason being is when you're drinking heavily at nine o'clock at night and you don't quit until one, and then somebody wants to edit it, they're gonna tell you that, boy, that sure as hell was not funny. That was terrible. You make derogatory remarks about women and especially somebody who cares about you. That wasn't me, by the way. And so anyway, I thought, hey, wait a minute. Who am I kidding here, right? I thought it was funny at the time. I thought, you know, why not? Whole society is based on between the 12 year olds and 25 and that's about it. Watch the news. That's what you see. Very short attention spans. So I've decided that old geezers have real short attention spans too, don't they? I mean, we uh, forget to go to the bathroom sometimes in the bathroom and you know, we forget all kinds of beer, you know, weird things, right? So even though she did say that um, most of the stuff that I, uh, I put on DVD, anybody that wants to buy one, just contact me on this and I'll, uh, I'll send one. Um, Forty-nine ninety-five. Okay. <laughs> Shipping and handling can be another twenty dollars. Send me seventy-five dollars, and I'll send you one. It's an hour and ten minutes long, and believe me, you will be disappointed. <laughs> you will be so disappointed. You will. But see, the thing about it, this is not a money-back guarantee, folks. Yes, <laughs> you will be disappointed. You will go and. What the hell did I was I thinking doing $75 on an idiot like that? So, <laughs> yes, uh, she did tell me that's probably one of the worst things that I've ever done. And of course, she doesn't know me that well because I've probably done a lot worse than that. So anyway, she made the suggestion that um, no, that DVD will not fit, but anyway, well, she, made, make she made a suggestion. No, wait a minute, I'm not done here. Made the suggestion I make another one, all right? Well, this is the other one I'm making. Now, I don't have to consult her on this. Usually, and I'm saying usually 90% of the time, when she makes, sits down and does a 
profound speaking on what your problem is. Did you pass gas? I just sit in the background and go, what? But she did tell me that that's the worst thing that she's ever seen. Not only me do, but the worst thing ever anybody's seen. And then I should quit drinking at midnight. I should stop and not get farther than on than that. I said that was the drunkest you had been in a long time. I said it was midnight, okay? And if you stay awake, you're going to be drinking. So you had been drinking for a long time when you made that movie. Mm -hmm. That's what I objected to. Cause so that's the reason. Can, I, that's now this is bright and early in the morning and you've had a good night's sleep, right? And he's Not been necessarily. I, uh, uh, my legs are cramping up and uh, a few other things I don't want to talk about on camera here. But no, I figured that we need to get this done. And I say we. You and I, because I want to get your lawyer off my back, okay? I mean, there's not going to be any more old geezer network or anything like that. I'll still keep this, um, what do they call it, YouTube thing? I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll be back once so I'll be playing a, a little piano and maybe singing some karaoke and uh, reciting some poetry or maybe reading a play. Just got a play in. <laughs> I'd love to read to you people, and I think you'd really like it. It's a famous poet who was absolute the worst. Drunk. But anyway, let's... Drunk. Drunk. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Absolutely. He was, he was... So, how drunk was he? Well, I'll tell you what. He was at the right place at the right time doing all the wrong things, and that's how he got famous. So anyway, um, I'm running out of time and patience, so I just want you folks to know that um, my one and only fan, I'll still be, but as far as the old geezer network is concerned, I'm going to let the other old geezers handle it because I cannot do it by myself, and as far as I'm concerned, it was a good thought. It just, you know, but, you know, it's a thought, it was an idea. I wasn't married to it, you know. I'm flexible.